You know, I tend to think it's patience and persistence. For, for me, that was, that was definitely what it took because when I first started to paint, I was, I was not a patient person. Uh, painting, painting forces you to learn patience. And uh, if you're, if you're going to do that, that obviously takes persistence to be able to develop that, that type of a trait. But um, I started painting uh, years ago through a required senior level high school art class. And uh, I, I discovered I liked paint. I did a watercolor, discovered I did enjoy it. Um, I knew my mother had painted a little bit in the past, so I asked her if she would help me, and she at first refused, simply because she knew that I didn't have the patience for it. Uh, but I finally broke her down, and she was, she was willing to teach me what she knew. And after, after I moved beyond the point where she, she could continue to teach me, um, she was very supportive and uh, bought me every sort of learning DVD she could find, from Bob Ross to, to uh, Jerry Arnell. Uh, just both, both obviously traditional PBS uh, viewers will know those two names, and uh, that's how I learned to start with. And then I, then I started to, to really research art and get into. Um, I found artists that I liked, artists that I really truly loved their style, and uh, Jerry Arnell is one of them. But but then there are many others that I discovered that I truly truly did enjoy, and uh, in styles that I liked even better than than the people who I'd been studying earlier in my, in my career. And, um, when I, every time I find an artist that I, that I really in, admire their work, I, I study it. I try to figure out what are they doing differently than me? What, am, what could I possibly change in my, in my painting uh, repertoire to, um, to improve my, my work? Uh, and when I, when I discover it, uh, I'll bank it away and, and it's there. I've got that, that skill by that point. I continue to work on new skills every time I do a painting. Um, there's there's a, you know, a saying that you're only as good as your last painting. And, uh, I, try to, I try to live by that. Every painting for me is a, is a, new, a new challenge. And, um, but, but if you're going to, to take that approach, you without a doubt have to have that persistence. Uh, painting, painting will tear you down at times because things just sometimes aren't going to turn out right. And, and I've I have no no problem at all with with um, either trashing a painting or uh, taking sandpaper to it and getting getting rid of the the paint layers on top and re and re gessoing and, and retoning and, and starting a new a new piece. I don't I don't have a problem with that because each time I do it, I've learned something. I, I've I've figured out something that didn't go right and and I can fix it from that point. Uh, but there comes a point in every every painter's career if you do it enough. You come to a point where you're so confident and, and so patient, so patient, is, maybe patience is a better word, but patience breeds confidence, but you're so patient uh, with, um, with the process that you, you feel like, at least I feel this way, no matter what, I can take it on and, and I, can, I, can, uh, I can complete whatever, whatever visual um, illusion I'm trying to, to portray. Patience and persistence, that's what, I, that's what I would tell anybody that it, that it takes to become a, a successful artist.